going to be likely a little choppy swim. Um, try to find some good feet in the swim and stay near the front. And uh, the bike's going to be just pancake flat and very windy. So, um, but I'm excited. It's it's always been my weakness, and I've tried to embrace it and, and get a lot stronger on the you know flat courses um, and and better in my time trial position. So, I'll have to just you know bike with everything I have in me almost like there is no run to uh, maintain position or lose as little as possible there's some really strong cyclists here and then and then I love the run so <laughs> that'll be fun it's gonna be flat and windy and um, you know probably see people a few times so that'll be fun and, and hopefully exciting for hopefully exciting for the spectators hopefully I'll be able to um, make up any ground I lost on the bike so You know, I like to know. I like to be aware. I think it's, uh, I, I feel like maybe it's just where I'm at with my career, but I feel like I can look at it um, and it doesn't freak me out. It's more like this is who you're racing. I like to know who, who's going to be out there in the swim, who I could swim with, uh, who's going to, you know, maybe come by me on the bike and uh, who the good runners are in the field. So I do like to have an idea. I don't get too obsessed over it because I know you have to take it with a grain of salt given, um, you know, a lot of people might not show up and some others might show up so I have been training with a SRM power meter since about 2007 so that's that's something I've always focused on is power based intervals um, you know it's always a work in progress I mean things change a little bit each year so um, sometimes it's it's max intervals I'll do hill intervals three to four minutes and it's just as hard as I can and I'll look at the power from those Lately, it's been a lot more riding in my time trial position um, harder. So I've done crazy things like, you know, a couple weeks ago I was inside for a long ride and it was four by 45 minute intervals uh, in the time trial position with like five minutes recovery. So it's um, it's pretty folk. I mean, it's pretty specific, like, a, you know, lay out a plan. And um, it, it's definitely the bike is always kind of what I need to to structure other things around. And so. You know, it's just riding, but it's also riding hard. I do a lot of riding hard, and, and I think that's maybe what's helped over the years get a, get a little stronger on the bike.